Hey, Sangrius from the Hidden Levels here with a preview of Turn On. This game was developed and published by Brainy Studios. Um, they're a Russian company. The game is a action, a little bit of puzzle uh, element with it. The game released on June 1st of 2016. Requires about 4.5 gigs of hard disk space, and it costs 14.99 uh, US. Okay, I actually had my game set to Korean. So I'm gonna change that back to English here. Just a little bit of a second here. Also showing you the settings menu. It's got a lot of language support, as you can see. English. It's got Standard music, sound effects, stuff back. Okay, here's your familiar English. So, new game credits. So few games support uh, Korean, so <laughs> I was a little bit surprised to find that. And I recorded a short video of um, the game being played in Korean, that's why you saw that there. So, I'll get started right away and show you a little bit of the game. Uh, basically, you are the main character is uh, like the scientist, and all of a sudden, I don't know what happens. A catastrophe strikes, and all the lights are out. And as the title of the game says, you gotta turn on the lights. So, scientist goes to investigate what happens, and she, he finds this glowing thing. We don't know what that is. Picks that up. And something happens. Okay. Okay, we can actually move the electricity. Awesome. It's alright. Basically, gotta wait for the scientist to do something here. That turns the lights on. We're basically working co-op with the scientist to get through these levels. Picking these up. This is like a tutorial level, so um, very easy. And turn on these generators, lights, things like that. So the scientist can actually walk to the next area. Gotta wait until scientist gets here and opens the door for us. Not sure how to get to that track or if it's even possible to get there. Um, he's looking for a key. I think he just finds it in his backpack or whatever. Just have to wait until he opens the door. There's some stuff on the top right and top left. I don't know what they mean at this moment. I just literally started playing this game. Yeah, that is something. Okay, there must be ways to move up to the next track. Okay, so A and B is up and down. Okay. I wanna try and collect everything so don't know if collecting everything matters. Um, no whether for achievement or for the gameplay itself. I'll try to collect everything, um, you know, just in case. Oops, sorry about that. You may have heard me kissing the mic. <laughs> Kinda fell towards me. Telling me to hit three of these, and there you go. There's this says 32 at the top and 360 in the bottom. Not sure exactly what that means. There's some hidden stuff as well. Like sometimes when I go, 
guess I can write this. Well, hmm. Just got an achievement for cable break. Get to the old part of. I guess that's the story achievement. Not sure what this middle icon does. Let me just check that. Uh, the left icon is obviously replay. The right icon is obviously uh, go to the next level. Oh, it's a stage select. Got it. Okay, let's. Okay, is this the one I play? I'm not sure. Is this the one I played already, or is this the one I played already? Not hard to tell. I'm gonna try repeating this and see what I see if if it's the wrong one. I'll restart. It's the wrong one. I'll go back to the menu. I'm gonna show you the next level, and then I'll end this preview there. Seems like a very simple concept, but very, very fun. Collecting these give me one uh, lightning point, and then the thing at the bottom, I guess, is like my power. Oh shit. Yeah, I can't touch the red light. Right. Okay, that makes things a little bit harder. So far, it's been pretty easy. I still want to try and play everything. Oops. I'm trying to go too fast. That's my problem in games. I always try to go too fast and get killed. Even on really easy games. I gotta touch this. What? Okay, that was bullshit. Definitely didn't touch. That light has to. It should move a little faster. At least it doesn't look like I get penalized anything when I die. Uh, I keep. I kept all the lightning points that I collected. the secret area. All secrets. I found it totally by accident. I wasn't even, I didn't even know there was a secret area there. Very good. At least my preview video showed something. Wasn't really intended, but anyways. Hmm, just got an achievement for something else. I didn't see that. I didn't see what the achievement was. Backup generator was activated. A lot of story based achievement, it seems like just um, beating the levels. Alright, I think I beat the second level here. I'm not sure how many levels there are. There are 82 achievements in the game, so even, with, even if each level has a uh, Achievement associated with it. That's a lot uh, I'm unlocking a lot of achievements here uh, Backup generator was completed with three lamps hmm. mm. Was it possible to finish with more or less? No idea 
um, I wasn't I wasn't really trying to get these achievements or anything. I, mean, I wasn't even looking at a guide or I had any help about it. So let's go back to the level select and also let's quickly look at the list of achievements. There's like 82 of them, so I'm gonna just go through them really quick. Uh, interesting. There's only two levels. Uh, even though I beat the second level, there's only two levels. It's very interesting. Let me just go back to that level select again, just to check. See if like pressing up and down gives me another level. Oh, okay, okay. There's the third level. Uh, I see more levels you know, around the maps and other areas. Alright, uh, let's just quickly look at the achievements here. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so here's the achievements. Three lamps, I guess, is like getting uh, perfect in uh, like Angry Birds style. Three stars. I missed it on the first level. I'm not sure how I did that. I guess I missed the lightning. Oh, there was that rail I didn't jump towards. Maybe that's the problem. Or I, I, I wasn't even told how to jump there, so I don't know if it was possible to jump. Uh, just progression based. 200, 500, 1000, 3000. Three stars in all the levels. I, I list every level, so I guess there's. I can just count the levels here. There's a lot. There's like, well, I'm already counting like 20 here. I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and uh, count all the levels, but last journey, I guess, is the last level. It's got 10 points each. Um, hidden lantern. I guess there's like just like the secret place I found. There's uh, some kind of hidden lantern somewhere, or another probably a secret passageway that leads to the treehouse. Uh, this looks like well, maybe these are just you know, story-based ones. I'm not really sure. These look like the story-based ones. Some of them. Yeah, a lot of story based or uh, finding a secret area kind of stuff here. Yeah, all these look like uh, story based stuff. Probably like the second to the last level. And then I guess somehow something happens. We gotta bring this stuff back to the downtown area and the uh, electricity. Yeah, three starring all the levels, just watching the credits. Only four people, wow, that's amazing. And then there's a secret achievement. So, yeah, a lot of achievements. Um, let me see how many I got so far. This was my first time playing, as I said, and I unlocked seven achievements in just that um, 10, 20, 10, 15 minutes of playing. So, many achievements are easy to get. Get it looks like a probably easy completion if you're the kind looking for an easy 1000. Well, uh, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. My name is Angrias from the Hidden Levels. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll be back with more previews and guys very soon.